you can't always build from the top. You've got to right. build from the bottom, too. And we didn't do that in the well, last election. So my, my response to that, and, and thank you for the question, but my response to that is that Charlie Baker helped us fundraise a substantial amount of money. There weren't many other people. I'm sorry. There were no other people. Let people go away. You cannot stop trying to fundraise candidates. You can't stop giving money to candidates. Give money to your town committee. Everyone needs the help. State committee elections come every four years. You all elect your state committee members. We're not asking for a civics I lesson. Last year, we had 10 congressional races and a governor's race. We did not have a coordinated statewide campaign message for our 10 congressional candidates. This next year, 2012, we're only going to have nine congressional races. Have you given any thought whatsoever to a coordinated, coordinated statewide message about Republicanism versus the Democrats. I mean, to me, Barney Frank should have been the most easy guy to be. He was personally responsible for the Fannie Freddie meltdown. There wasn't a peep out of your office you are, about that. Mike, you were absolutely incorrect. So, first of all, my office, if any of you are signed up to the Mass GOP emails, and if you're not, it's your fault and not mine, because and Bill could speak to this, that candidates had special emails that went out that had candidate talking points. In addition to that, we only had nine congressional races out of the ten. Out of the nine congressional races, all the congressional, all the congressional candidates had emails coming from the National Republican Congressional Committee with a unified message. That was supposed to be a message that everyone stayed on. If they chose to divert from it, again, it is a personal preference. It does not mean that I told them to. It is what they decided to do. The best person, the person who had the best chance of winning was Jeff Perry. You cannot have a statewide message for congressional members, for congressional candidates. What you can have is a federal message, which again, comes from the National Republican Congressional Committee. So that's where it's going to come from. And, and again, another point to note is that we are called the Massachusetts Republican State Committee. We are not considered a federal committee. And so it was our first time last year having almost a full slate of candidates, having nine out of ten congressional seats being challenged. That was the first time in, I don't know how long, but a very long period of time. So it was something that was very new to us. But there was only one person that was on our radar screen nationally, and that was in the 10th Congressional District. The yes. Citizens United went yes. to the Supreme Court. I, I am a lawyer. Are you familiar with the decision? With so if you want to talk about who had the best shot, it was not against Barney Frank. This is Massachusetts. One of the reasons I wanted to become chairman of the party in the first place back in 2009 was to change the course and to make sure that Massachusetts moved in a different way and you were writing the ship and to get people like yourselves to come on board and to elect the right people into our legislature and then to Congress and statewide and then nationally. But can't do it, I can't do it alone and you can't do it alone. We all have to do it together.